talk about the first brace you need for updating your suspension is the Monte Carlo bar, which is this one right here. You see how it slants, it goes nice and over your battery. And here's the other one. And these bars come on 78 to 80 Monte Carlos. For the Monte Carlo bars, you do have to make some marks. So right here is the first one. There is a little dimple here. You just drill it out and then mount that there. And then we got the hole number two is right here. There's also a little dimple there. You just drill that out. Now we also got the other Monte Carlo bar. Sometimes Grand Prix, Cutlass, Buick, a lot of other G-bodies have this. This is the one you, you want. It's a thicker one. And it mounts right there. And then whatever car you get it off of, you do want to get the little clip that the bolt goes in right here. Because on the non-bracket cars or brace cars, there's nothing there. Same thing right there. Which those are already have holes ready to go. Now the third bar you need if you're going to brace your G-body, they call it the Grand Prix bar. This one goes right underneath the core support. Just like that. And bolts in this corner. There's a little slot. Now this will be a nut and bolt versus the fender braces and the, the Monte Carlo bars are going to have screws or bolts with nuts on one end and then clips and screws on the other side. This one is a bolt and, a bolt and nut. Now if you are using this joust bar which goes from the middle of the frame horn right there which will have two pre-made screw, screw holes two right there i'm using the factory bolt that came with the joust bars and just kind of force the the grand prix bar over it or you can get longer bolt and screw that fits this hole it's up to you but the grand prix bar comes only on grand prix i think it's early grand prix like 78 to 80, 81. And then the joust bars are on like Monte Carlos, Cutlasses, and Regals. Next one we're gonna talk about, which braces that go from side to side on your core support. Now the core support one that goes in the front of the core support that one will only work for the guys that don't aren't doing boost or because like i have a car that has an intercooler and it won't work but it's really for just the guys that want the brace and aren't going really boosted unless you want to do some modifications to make everything work and at that point that brace isn't worth it but for like the the big block guys the stock style L ls guys the small block chevy guys you just want something that just tightens up the core support some one but all the other ones you can make them work now for the rear of the car we got the g body umi suspension rear shock tower brace now it mounts right above the bolts for your shocks now i'm using stock bolts but let's get to the next one which this one's going to be more for the coupes and sedans it won't work for wagons or El Caminos, but this one is another rear brace that's good and handy to have, especially for T-top. T-top guys, this is really preferred because you get, especially with the high horsepower, you start cracking the rear roof line. So like when you, if this was a T-top car, like right here, you start seeing cracks. You may start seeing cracks here, other spots like right here. That's just because of the roof line tweaking. So this Grand National slash GNX bracing, and it goes right back there. You do have to make your own screws holes because the Malibu and the Le Mans back seat's a little bit 
shorter you do the mounting holes are a little bit different spot than like if a cutlass buick regal or monte carlo they're going to fit more like what a lot of pictures you see online and then they join at the middle you put light. so see how you make two holes and they join right there two holes there <laughs> Last one is optional. Some people do it, some people won't. Zoom out. This long bar. This is just something I found randomly at a junkyard. Now this one, junkyard, it's not the right length, but it can be made to be the right length. But it would mount here or on the back side, whichever you prefer. And then it'd go from the driver's side rear frame all the way to this rear frame but the bottom bolt but there's companies out there that will make a pad you can mount to this which it fits over over the bumper bracket you can use that one or you could just go find find one from a junker that's the right length off of like a pickup truck or like a caprice or an impala or grab something from the home improvement store and make your own now to make your own it's going to be pretty simple what you're going to do is you're going to go to a home improvement store find whatever thickness pipe you're wanting and you could do one of two ways if you're wanting if you're good at welding or know something that can weld for you, then you're going to get a piece of pipe and a copper or brass style end and get the welded to the pipe you choose. The next option is to get a piece of pipe that's overly long. You will need a you will need a vise. So what you do is say get a piece of pipe like say this was the size you're wanting, make it long, mark where you put a screw hole or a, or a bolt and then smash it flat right here and then drill a hole through it. And then you can add, you can have somebody weld or, or put some seam sealer at the end right here and it would seal this up where you won't get water or moisture in it and it won't rot, do something like that and that would work for. That goes over a quick overview what braces you can choose from that will make your car be more stiffer so it can handle better when it comes to braces. A lot of these braces, I, I noticed when I put them on my cars, they have stiffened up the ride a little bit. They did make it some of the noises go away. It did help. See the next episode of this handling and suspension series. We'll start talking about coilovers, lowering springs, spindles, all that stuff to start diving into how to make your car handle even better. We'll even talk about sway bars because there is a lot of ideas where you can do piece a lot of this stuff together and mix and match where it'll work best for your combo and your g body but that gives you some some ideas some list of items that you might have to add to your g body that you never really thought about it but until then if you did like this and you want to follow along for more g body ideas and how to improve your g body subscribe and hit the notification button we'll see you on the next one